Let's talk about the houses. Now, I have studied so much uh, about this and I, I feel like I have a kind of a unique way of, of, of viewing it. And so bear with me and, and let's go through the 12 zodiac houses that represent the horizon and what is below the horizon, which is uh, in astrology, this is what we use as a natal chart to really understand a person and what they're doing. So houses one through 12. So the way that I see the houses is the first house is kind of like an infant, right? This is your consciousness, small ball. You're just discovering, I'm me. I'm, this is who I am. And the first house really is that. It's you, it's your ego, it's your physical body, the physical representation of your body. And it's just your consciousness. It's a tiny little baby consciousness. Just poop, there it is, just coming into existence. The second house is, but this is mine. Oh my goodness, like you're a toddler now, right? So this is the second house has to do with what we're manifesting from the spirit world into the physical world. This is all the money we're gonna make what we're bringing in from the thought world into the physical world through our own efforts. And it's still, but it's still not a big consciousness, so it's gotten a little bit bigger. The third house represents, but I wanna speak, I wanna say these things, I wanna, I wanna do this. And this represents really the state, like the third house is usually ruled by Gemini, which is communication. This is media, this is art, this is writing. This is all the little lower learnings that we have to learn and graduate preschool before we go and go to the next grade. This is our siblings, this is our neighborhood. All those things represent the third house, right? So then there's the fourth house. And the fourth house, this is where I come from. These are my parents, my great grandparents, my, and on and on and on, my lineage, right? My home. And for some of you, you have a good lineage. For some of us, we're still sifting and sorting through the muck and the mire. But that's what that fourth house represents. It represents your root of where you come from. Then we have the fifth house. And that's the house that wants to play. Oh my goodness, that house wants to play, play, play. And so in this house, this is all our creations. These are our children we're gonna create, our projects are create. These are the people that wanna be on stage and just, live out loud and and so this is this is what that represents that's what that fifth house, fifth house energy is and if you can imagine being an infant being a toddler now you're in first grade you know you're kind of like understanding the rules of the world understanding the game the sixth house is but i gotta give back to this family you know i gotta contribute to these people that brought me into this i've got to take responsibility right and so the sixth house is really all about career the mundane the chores